Abraham the Pharmacist is coming to you from London today. Okay, so check this out. And I thought to myself, actually I've seen so many patients with insect bites and stings this summer, so let's do a video on it. Generally speaking, insect bites or stings often cause a small red lump on the skin which can be painful and itchy. The good news is that many clear up within a few hours or a few days and they can be safely treated at home. I do have a bit of a sore throat. Now if you didn't see it happen, which most people don't, it can be quite difficult to identify whether you got bit or stung. But not to worry because the treatments are all very similar and we're going to get to that a bit later on in the video. Let's first start with wasps, hornets and bee stings. They cause a sharp pain at first, a swollen mark may then form on your skin which can cover a larger area depending on how much you react. But it's not usually anything you need to worry about. A few people however can experience a very serious allergic reaction called anaphylaxis which causes breathing difficulties, dizziness, swelling of the face or mouth and if this happens you need to call 999 immediately for an ambulance. Now I've left more information in the description below about anaphylaxis which I'd highly recommend everyone to read and learn more about. Now unlike wasps and hornets, bees tend to leave their sting in the wound, which isn't very nice of them, but you've got to remove it. And here's how you do it. Simply brush or scrape the sting outwards using something with a hard edge, like a bank card or a fingernail. Avoid tweezers as they can spread the venom. Now we will get back to cleaning the wound shortly, but next up is a tick bite. Now they're not very painful, so you might not realise straight away that you've been bit, but let's say you have realised straight away that you've been bit and it's stuck on your skin. Well then you need to remove it, and you need to remove it properly. So I've left more information in the description below on how to do this. Now the symptoms include a small red lump, swelling, itching and blistering. But the picture I've used is one that you really need to remember. If you look at it closely, it looks like the bullseye on a dartboard. A bite from a tick can make you quite sick. Did you see what I did there? I can't do it, it's too bad, that, that joke is terrible. Ticks can carry a potentially serious infection which we call Lyme disease. So if you do get the bullseye that we looked at earlier, or a fever, then see your GP straight away. More information in the description below about this. And lastly, we've got the horsefly bites, which can be very painful, and it can make your skin red, raised, itchy, and leave you feeling dizzy, weak, and wheezy. These bites can take a while to heal and can become infected. Now with all insect bites or stings, there's always a chance of developing a skin infection. So if you start getting pus from the area, or increased pain, or the area becomes hot and tender to touch, then speak to your healthcare professional as soon as you can. To reduce the chance of an infection, wash the site with soap and water after getting bit or stung by an insect. Treatments. When it comes to treatments, I think there's three parts. So to begin with, let's start with itching. Don't itch. I know it's easier said than done, but if you itch, it's going to react more, and also you're at higher risk of it getting infected. So speak to your pharmacist about getting an antihistamine tablet and the steroid cream for quick and easy relief. There is also an antihistamine cream, but I prefer antihistamine tablets. For swelling, apply a cold compress and an ice pack and raise the area. The antihistamine tablet that we spoke about earlier will also help for this. And if you're in pain or discomfort, then speak to your pharmacist about using paracetamol or ibuprofen. With all medication, always speak to your pharmacist and read the information leaflet that comes with it before you take it. And if you're still unsure about an insect bite or a sting, or you want a bit of extra information, then speak to your amazing pharmacist. And that's it, you're now an insect bite and sting pro, and if you have any of your own tips, then leave a comment below, because I'd love to read it too. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow, or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos. It is really bad, okay. Listen to this. A bite from a t <laughs> Got good back definition. Pull ups. Pull ups. You might not be able to tell that I'm not feeling well. But I am feeling really unwell. I can't, I can't do this seriously. It's such a bad joke. I'm definitely improving. Keeping hydrated, but my ears are completely blocked right now. Like, I can't hear anything.